Um, can you guys see well? Or just um, can you hear that noise? So today I'm going to <clears throat> today I'm going to talk do um, today I'm going to do a video about confidence and how to be how to look how to be confident. Um, sorry, should we try? Should we try again? Hi, today I'm going to do a video about confidence and how to come across confident. Hi. Today I'm going to do a video about to look confident, how to actually look confident. And that before was the opposite of being confident, obviously. But the reason I wanted to make that is because I was doing all the attributes of what makes you not confident. I'm going to tell you what they are now, and I'm going to first preface it with this. On my last video, I did four steps on how to actually be confident, because the internal process of what you do is the most important thing. How you look was a video offer that I suggested to you. I said we can make a video about how to actually look confident, because there's the bodily confidence, and then there's their internal Everybody said, yes, I want to see how to look confident. What should I wear? How should I be? But baby, baby love, it's not about what you wear. That's a third video if you want to see that because that's a third layer. There is power clothes, there is cute clothes, there is all kinds of things. But this is the point of this video. How you act in your body and how you carry yourself is way more important than any makeup, any clothes, anything you've got going on, my love. It's all about self-presentation. And I'm going to tell you the few things as I grab my phone that you need to keep in mind. And the reason I've got it on my phone is because it helps it stay in the head, okay? That's tip number one, by the way, that you need to be comfortable in saying that you don't have it all together. Confidence is being okay with that. Confidence is having that together. That's first of all confidence. Okay, so first thing, number one, is if you noticed when I first sat down, the first thing that denotes confidence in a human being is the ability to hold eye contact. It shows that I'm not trying to hide anything. I see you, we see each other, and I can hold your gaze. If you struggle with that, I completely understand. It's not always easy, but that is the number one thing that will denote confidence in how you look at somebody. Because as soon as I start to turn away, even if I'm speaking in the same way, I guess it looks like a side shot to you now. But if I just glance down and glance away when I'm talking to you and I'm trying to tell you something, there isn't an ease of movement in there. There's something accepting in a person's eyes. You don't need to stare at them and really drill them down. But have an easy gaze that you make eye contact with someone and it denotes to them that you're present, you're aware, you're looking at them, and you can tell instantly in someone's eyes that they're a confident person. If they're standing in a line at the shop, they're trying to buy a coffee, and you ask them a question, and they just turn to you and they look straight at your face, and they say, oh, sorry, how can I help you? And they're looking at you. You can denote that that person's confident. So that's number one thing you need to work on. Number two is you need to have a posture of not straightness, like you're a teacher with a ruler and that's how you stand and the ruler's down your back. But you see in the first one, I was rounding my shoulders. That's a protective stance. That's a don't look at me stance. You have to have an ease and fluid movement if you're a confident person. You have to be able to take up space. If you're confident, you can take up space with your body. You're not afraid to take space up in the room. Confidence generally means that you are okay with being you and you are here and you're in your moment and you can take up space. I talk with my hands, that's how I take up space. I'm happy to sit back and relax. I am confident in the presence that I'm having and that is how you can denote that. So if you're closed off and you're looking away, straight away, look, I'm talking the same, I'm looking away, my shoulders are, are pressed in versus I'm looking at you and my body posture's open. I haven't changed my voice. I'm not doing this like, hi guys, welcome to YouTube videos. It's just about having an ease and a grace to you. You know, if you wanna go back to my video before this on how to be confident, those are the actual keys of self-acceptance, of knowing who you are, being okay with it, knowing you're going somewhere, and knowing to be vulnerable. But 
watch that video because it's actually quite intricate in how you do it but the ability to just be open in your posture and make eye contact is something that is vital for confidence next is with the use of your hands and your body people don't like when you hide your hands it's a, a, a human animal biological thing that if you hide your hands do it in front of somebody that will straight away get more edgy towards you. I don't know if it's a biology that you could be holding something that could be dangerous like a weapon and people don't like it. Look, I doubt it, but it is genuinely biological in us that when the best thing to do, I talk with my hands a lot, but if you want to look confident is don't fidget and don't move around much. Just hold your hands in a place where they will sit like this. If you're a gesticular person like me, you can use your hands to move, but notice how I move them when I talk. I'm not there like this fidgeting and you know moving and scratching and pulling at my clothes as soon as you start all this one this one this one this one your confidence goes out the window things like that like that so either keep your hands still have stillness in your movements or use your hands gracefully when you're talking but if that's not you don't use your hands there's so much beauty in stillness if you can just sit and have a conversation with a person and not fidget because essentially you're showing that discomfort and it's annoying. Secondly, slow down your speech. If you want to be a person of confidence and presence, slow down your speech, concentrate on what you're talking about and don't be worried to take a pause. It's okay to take a pause. If you're having a thought, instead of going, um, and like thing, uh, just take a pause. Learn to talk with a pause in your language as opposed to a filler word. You know, like, you know, like, like, uh, thing, uh, thingo. That's not a confident vocabulary. If you don't know the word, pause. Have a think. It's okay to take up space with your language and with your body. That's confidence. And there's so many different spectrums of confident people. There's that businessman who's walking. There's the relaxed mum playing with her child at the playground. There's that surfer dude who's just so confident in his skills. But it's just a person who's comfortable and confident in their body. And that's what it is. Some of them are fast paced. Some of them are slower paced. But these are the things that will make you come across confident even though you're not. I think there's a level of confidence too where when you're talking to a person and you know them well, you can reach over and touch them. Confident people often can touch people on the shoulder or they can look at something or look at a bag. Like, I mean, be discerning. If you're a guy watching this, don't touch, touch random people. But what I mean is like they have kind of an ease with their body and they're like, thanks friend. You know, they can touch someone on the shoulder. They don't shy away from human contact. And I think that's another way you can show your confidence. Also in your posture, keep your chin up. None of this one. Don't, don't do all this. Keep your chin up. Have a calm, quiet confidence. And you know what's most beautiful in confidence in people? Is that they're not trying to be someone else. I, for example, I think I have quite a monotone voice. And for me to show confidence, I just sit in that voice. And if you look at my comments on all my recent posts, they go, wow, your voice is so calming. I love it. Now, if I was to self-diagnose and analyze myself and be like, you know what, I need to change that and I really need to be so entertaining and I need to talk up and down with my voice, I'm showing lack of confidence because it's so unnatural for me. It's obviously unnatural for me. You can see it's unnatural for me and people will think, oh, what's, what's going on here? To really sit in who you are is how you act confident. Stop apologizing. Well, you saw in the first shot when I came in, I was saying, oh, can you guys see me? Is it right? A lot of people on camera, and this is a really ex good example in life, say, hi guys, um, oh, is the camera right? Is it a bit crooked? Does the lighting keep changing? And then they go on to like, oh, I'm, I'm sure you can see this blemish on my face. Why are you talking about that? Number one, the person probably didn't even notice it. But number two, and number most important, is that nobody cares. Nobody cares about you as much as you think that they care. You need to have some kind of knowledge of the fact that to other people, you are a side character. As harsh as that sounds, but you are. You need to stop apologizing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Can I just... Oh, You're creating an awkward situation. Just be. And if you've done something genuinely worth apologizing for, then apologize. Because if you're apologizing all the time, you're creating uh, a dynamic whereby your apology means nothing. Also, 
Don't be afraid to smile at people. Confident people can hold a gaze and they can smile. When it's like a, a smiling conversation kind of, you, you almost hold your palate up so that you have a tone of happiness in your voice. If you're ever recording a voicemail or if you're calling someone, smile while you're doing it. And that's a voice technique because people can hear a smile in your voice even on the phone. Last one thing. As much as I said how you wear and what you wear doesn't matter, you need to wear what you feel confident in. I used to work in a place when I was much younger in London where a lot of famous people, rich people, celebrities used to come in. I used to work at the reception in this uh, hotel bar. And my friend, you can tell when somebody is a celebrity or somebody, even when they're in a tracksuit. Um, and I'm not saying all celebrities are confident, but I could be a business person or somebody. People think you've got to wear some kind of special clothes, some kind of specific clothes, some kind of look in order to come across confident. No, it's just like this ease of being, walking up straight, sitting down, taking up space. When they used to come to the reception, they'd look me straight in the eye. That is what confidence means. So this video is on the back of the first one about how to be confident. I hope this helps. And the next one, if you want, I can tell you how to dress to make people think you're confident or more so how to dress to make people think you're powerful. That's a good one. All right, see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, guys, uh, quick thing. 77% of you who watch this channel are not subscribed. And that's very, very naughty. That's very, very naughty. So please subscribe. Love you.